For today's video, we'll be showing you guys our top picks for Waikiki. Stay tuned for the full video. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Felix, that's Amanda. And we are a locally born and raised couple here from Oahu, and we take you guys on all of our foodie adventures. And if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you guys wanna know more of our top picks. And this is just the first of our series. A lot of you folks have been asking about our top picks and things that we like to eat and places that we recommend. And this one, we're gonna be starting off with Waikiki. Yeah. There's way too much to just make one list, so we're gonna break it down into categories, starting with today's one, Waikiki. And before we get into it, we just wanted to let you know this isn't in any particular order, it was just some of our top places we visited in 2021, starting with Royal Lobster. Royal Lobster is a small business in Waikiki Shopping Plaza, right on Royal Hawaiian Avenue and Kalakaua. It's on the bottom floor, hidden gem on the bottom of a staircase, and we really enjoyed it because it had such quality lobster rolls. Oh my goodness. This does not make your guys' mouth water. I don't know what will, because look at this hefty thing of beauty. Oh my goodness, look at that. They do not mess around here. It's authentic. They even ship the lobster in from Maine and it's an entire lobster. The lobsters are freshly flown in every morning from Maine or Boston. TCK lobster rolls, okay? That's tail, claw, and knuckle. You get the whole lobster. So if you guys wanted to get something on the go, super quick and fresh, definitely check out Royal Lobster. So much huge chunks of lobster meat. The brioche bun really holds it together. There's a nice layer of like saltiness as well and it soaks up all the butter. And if you want to see the whole video, we'll leave it linked down below in the description. Along with all the other ones we mentioned today. And the next spot we want to talk about is Apatito. Located in Ohana East off of Kuhio Avenue. If you guys are local, perfect spot because they have free validated parking. I think it's up to three hours. <laughs> That's more than enough time to enjoy your night. It is a Neapolitan style or Naples style pizza and they are known for being the very first hand-stretched Neapolitan style or Naples style pizza place here on Oahu. They're known for their brick fire oven. So the temperature in the oven gets up to 900 degrees and we cook the pizzas in there within a 90 second interval. And this spot is a great place to go for a nice date night in the middle of Waikiki. And it's super easy to get to, really close walking distance to the main area of Waikiki. And they have some awesome Ono appetizers as well. Plus, if you're coming in, you get a discount. Make sure you bring your state ID. <laughs> Some of our favorites include portobello mushroom fries, their hand-tossed pizzas. And their pastas were also one of our highlights. And it was the Vaughn approved. Oh yeah, she loved that place as well. If you like steak, oh my God. Okay? Everything here has been delicious. And the next place we want to talk about is a well-known amongst locals buffet here in the middle of Waikiki. And it's also right over here, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hundred sails meaning the view of the pier and you can see all the sails of the boats. Kind of like our backdrop right over here. <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking for a more upscale buffet and want to splurge a little bit, check out Hundred Sails. And Hundred Sails is located right over here in the Hawaii Prince Hotel. And they also have validated parking. I believe it's $6 though. But I'll leave the video down in the description along with links to the website so you guys can check it out. Oh, and they also have local fusion dishes as well. So if you're craving non-stop eating, all you can eat, and also with a local flair, definitely check them out. So at Hundred Sales, we love their all-you-can-eat Dungeness crab with that calamansi butter. You won't regret it, folks. And Hundred Sales has an array of desserts. And if you guys are looking for a special spot to celebrate someone's birthday, like we took the Vons there, you guys would definitely enjoy it. Highly recommend. <laughs> I ended up getting the poke, California roll, spicy ahi, prime rib, and the porchetta. <laughs> And the view is amazing, especially during sunset. Hey guys, this is why we told you we chose this time of the day to come to this buffet. And 
and this next spot. Perfect date night spot, special occasion celebration, epitome of Pacific regional cuisine, Roy's Waikiki location. So Roy's is perfect, especially if you're looking for a date night spot and you want to try some really local cuisine. And Roy's is located in the Embassy Hotel in Waikiki. You can park in the Embassy and I think there is a validation. $6 for four hours, but definitely a spot that locals love. And Roy's is actually one of the original innovators of Hawaii regional cuisine. Diva did mention that this is a local favorite. Locals come here just for those songs. I can see why though. And if you guys want to try some real Hawaiian fusion local cuisine, definitely have to check out Roy's. It's one of the OG's originals. You got to definitely try it out. And when we went to Roy's, we loved their family owned recipes such as their butterfish, down to their spare ribs, even their whole fishes. And the thing that I love the most about Roy's was their fresh seafood. You could taste the freshness and they pride themselves on being sustainable and all of their fresh fish is responsibly sourced as well. And another great thing about Roy's and the thing about coming here is you're actually supporting a local business and he prides himself in one, supporting the local community, two, supporting local farmers and three, supporting local fishermen. So you know that when you dine here, you are actually supporting all of the communities on Oahu and in Hawaii. So guys, check Check out the link to the full video down below. And of course, one of our most favorite go-to spots for occasion once again. And if we feel like splurging, of course, High's Steakhouse. And what made High's so memorable is the ambiance. Inside is nice, wooden, very old fashioned, very classy. Everything from their wood fire pit, grilling all the meats. They have an open fire pit that they use to char broil the beef. With Kiabu wood, so you're gonna get that nice smoky flavor. And also, they have a variety of dishes that are prepared tableside. If you are going to a high end restaurant and you wanna see some awesome tableside cooking shows, definitely hit up Highs because their tableside is amazing. And one of our favorites was the tableside Caesar salad. You can see them making everything from step one to step 100, I don't know. And also, you can see them making your dessert as well. And you guys gotta see that. Crackling fire is amazing. <laughs> so guys, if you want to wine and dine and splurge, make sure you check out Highs for their awesome steaks. I put it in my mouth and this is how I feel. <laughs> I just smell one melt away. <laughs> awesome desserts, awesome tableside service. And of course, the staff is very knowledgeable. You can ask them anything. They even taught us how to eat escargot the correct way. Like I said, you don't want to be a police officer eating a coffee and donut. And this is how the French eat it. He says, my friend was from France and he taught me this. He says, this is how the locals in France eat it. So. <laughs> if you want to see that, definitely check it out because we've been eating it wrong this whole time. I'm pretty sure you guys have been too. Yeah, definitely check out that video and check out highs. And guys, another top pick that we wanted to talk about, but we haven't released the video yet, but we do want to let you guys know it's Tower Mina and we will be releasing it very, very soon. Make sure you watch out for that, but it was amazing. We have awesome Sicilian cuisine and just so you guys know, we thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed every single dish we got oh my gosh okay this is my also other favorite <laughs> but we can't tell you the whole thing because the video didn't come out yet yeah so <laughs> stay tuned for that video anyways guys let us know if you like this type of compilation top list type of video oh we didn't wish them happy new year this is coming out on new year's yeah and guys this video is premiering on new year's eve so we wanted to tell you guys, we hope you guys had a really great year for 2021. And we want to wish you a very merry and happy and joyous and prosperous 2022. Successful, everything, all the positive adjectives out there. New year. For 2022. And we do want to also say how much we truly appreciate all of your support throughout 2021. And we really hope that you guys join us during 2022 for all of our adventures to come. Travel video soon, maybe, perhaps, yeah. I don't know, but we hope that you guys are staying safe right now, especially with the craziness going on in the world. And we really hope that you guys have been enjoying our videos. And if you did enjoy this video, give us a big thumbs up. It lets us know that you guys like this top series. And if you guys like this type of video where we cover our top picks in each area, make sure you guys comment down below if you guys liked this top pick series and if you guys want to see more of our top picks. All right, that about wraps up. We want to thank you guys so much for coming with us on all of our adventures in 2021. We want to wish you guys again a happy new year and we'll see you guys in 2022. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Take it easy, Fudio Hana.